welcome you all in this lecture we are going to discuss about Darcisla. in fact you see uh, in the previous lecture we had a discussion about what is permeability of soil now in this lecture we are going to discuss Darcisla. in fact Darcisla is ruling entire hydraulics including here soil hydraulics what you call permeability of soil the ease of water pass through soil so this we are trying to say in a simple way flow through soils so here uh, i'm going to tell you that's law velocity of flow is directly proportional to hydraulic gradient this i can write as v directly proportional to i v directly proportional to i now therefore v here the proportional constant is the k v is equal to k i what is k now coefficient of permeability of soil someone is very much interested to know someone is very much interested to know what do you mean by hydraulic gradient gradient as you know the name itself is saying slope hydraulic gradient here you see uh, here you see flow uh, happen between two points one to two the distance between two points is l so here i just insert a piezometer as you know many of us knows uh, once you insert the piezometer you will get the head of the water so head of the water at point one is h1 head of the water at point two is h2 so now the flow took place between one to two so now near palla merugu manasu koti nerugu so here the flow took place there that's why there is a head difference h1 minus h2 that is the difference of head so now i would like to say hydraulic gradient is, is equal to difference between head by two observations distance between two observations that we are trying to call as length so i is equal to h by l but here you see uh, what i'm trying to tell you here you see this picture also saying the same thing but here head is total head is a combination of uh, elevation head that we also call datum head plus pressure head plus velocity head it's good to discuss the velocity head is neglected in geomechanics what you call geotechnical we call uh, soil mechanics so we are we don't care about velocity head we are trying to uh, take care about datum head and pressure head so therefore z plus p by gamma so we don't worry about velocity head so this is what a very interesting thing that we are going to discuss so again i'm telling darcy's law v directly proportional to i v is equal to k i what is k coefficient of permeability k is coefficient of permeability now it is the right time to discuss what are the major limitations of darcy's law because it is repeatedly uh, people trying to uh, ask this question now we are trying to say the biggest limitation of the darcy's law is the flow should be laminar and steady so this we can ensure by uh, knowing reynolds number many of you know reynolds number is inertia force by viscous force it should be less than or equal to one i am very sure what i am telling flow through soils not flow through pipes might be here in flow through pipes are less than or equal to 2000 but i am telling here flow through soils permeability of soils where the reynolds number should be less than or equal to one uh, inertia force by viscous forces very popular formula are is equal to rho vd by mu so as long as your flow is laminar and steady and reynolds number is less than or equal to one that is why is applicable this may not be happen in a very coarse grain soils where you may expect some turbulence if it is a fine grained soil it will be we have a steady and laminar flow thank you all